Hello and welcome. Welcome once again to another edition of Take a Step. My name is Moses Humphrey, the quiz master. And I have our students with me in the studio, ready to play and uh, take the most steps. Let's see who will take the most steps today on the show. We have Amechi Joshua in the studio. Put your hands together for him. And he'll be competing with Adebi Abdul Salam. We'll go on a very quick break. When we come back, our students will be out here to play the crossword puzzle. Take a Step makes a return after this break. Take a Step is a production of NTA Educational Television. NTA Educational Television, promoting learning. All right, so we have to play the crossword puzzle. Why don't you take a step? You have 40 seconds to cross the most words that you can find. Well, the words are written underneath the chart, so it's easier to pick them out. Pick up your markers. Your 40 seconds starts now. So flip the boards and start crossing. You're looking for words related to occupation. Uh, we are looking for lawyer, nurse, teacher, doctor, and dentist. How fast you find and cross, the better your chances of taking the very first step on Take a Step. 40 seconds taken away. Okay. Tick tock, tick tock, 40 seconds. Your time is up. Stop, put down the markers. Let's start counting from Joshua. One, two, three. Put your hands together for him. He crossed three words. And uh, a DB. One, two, three, four. Put your hands together for him as well. All right, congratulations to you, Adebi. Take the very first step. All right, great. Good. Why don't you take a step? We're starting off with English, and you are to choose the word or group of words that best completes each sentence. We have questions one to five to play with. Number one. Number one. The dash of the various dailies attended the conference. A, editors in chief. B, editor in chiefs. C, editors in chiefs. B, editor in chiefs. Editor in chiefs is the wrong answer. The right answer is editors in chief. So you got to stay where you are for now. Your question? Number two. Number two. Our tour of the tower came to an end all dash soon. A, rather. B, two. C, more. B, two. Too soon. Right answer. Put your hands together for him. Go ahead. Step out on the red. Your next question. Number three. Number three. I dash a song when I got my letter of promotion. I dash a song when I got my letter of promotion. A. Broke out. B. Broke in. C. Broke into. A. Broke out. Broke out. Wrong answer. The right answer is C. I broke into a song when I got my letter of promotion. So that's the wrong answer. Um, number four. Number four.
It is rude to cut dash when people are talking. A. In. B. Through. C. Off. B. Through. Through. It is rude to cut through. Wrong answer. The right answer is cut in when people are talking. And that is how we wrap up English. With not many steps being taken, we now move on to mathematics. Why don't you take a step? We go on to mathematics. Pick a number. How do you play? Number two. Number two. Express 302.10495 correct to five significant figures. A. 302.105. B. 302.10. C. 302.11. Joshua. 302.11. 302.11 is the wrong answer. The right answer is B. 302.10. That's the right answer, unfortunately. Your question now. Number four. Number four. Solve for x in the equation 1 over x plus 2 over 3x equals 1 over 3. A, 5. B, 4. C, 3. A, 5. Five is the right answer. Put your hands together for him. Congratulations to you. Take the step. All right. Great. Great. Good one. Your question now. Number one. Number one. If nine raised to the power two minus x equals three, find x. A, 3 over 2, B, 2, C, 1. X equals to 2. X equals 2? Oh, that's the wrong answer, unfortunately. Now, we don't give uh, bonuses, but if you were to give the answer to that one, what, what would it be? C, 1. C, 1. That would have been wrong, too. The right answer is A, 3 over 2. <laughs> you saw that one, yeah? All right, then. Your question now. Number 4. Number 4. 4 has been taken. We have 3 and 5. Number five. Number five. Okay, so now time to prove yourself, yeah? Express three minus bracket x minus y, close bracket, over y as a single fraction. A, 4y plus x over y. B, 4y minus x over y. And C, x plus 4y over y. A, 4y plus x over y. 4y plus x over y. Wrong answer. The right answer is B, 4y minus x over y. <laughs> and we come to the end of mathematics. We now move on to biology. Why don't you take a step? Moving on to biology, how do you play? Pick a number. Number two. Number two. One of the functions of xylem is A. Storing unused sugar B. Manufacturing food C. Strengthening the stem B. Manufacturing food Manufacturing food. Are you sure or are you guessing? Before the bell goes, you have time. Manufacturing food. Final answer, right? 
One of the functions of xylem is not manufacturing food. It is strengthening the stem. Your question now. Number three. Number three. People suffering from myopia. A, can see near objects clearly. B, are colorblind. C, can see far away objects clearly. A, can see near objects clearly. Myopia, can see near objects clearly is the right answer. Put your hands together for him. <laughs> Go ahead, take the step. Congratulations. Your question now. Number four. Number four. The cilia in paramecium are used for A, respiration. B, locomotion. C, protection. C, protection. Wrong answer. The right answer is locomotion. Movement. Your question now. Number five. Number five. Your glenna may be classified as a plant because it dash a leaves in a pond b has pellicles c has chloroplast c has chloroplast it has chloroplast La right answer <laughs> we'll move away from biology we go on to economics why don't you take a step how are we faring adibi are we good? Yeah. We're good? Joshua, are we're we good. good? Yes, sir. All right, so on to economics now. Pick a number. Number one. Number one. Dash is a graphical representation of frequency distribution. A, histogram. B, pictogram. C, formula. A, histogram. A, histogram is the right answer. Put your hands together for him. Go ahead, take the step. Your question. Number four. Number four. Resources that are not scarce are called what? A, free goods. B, needs. C, wants. B, needs. Needs, resources that are not scarce are called wants or needs. You said needs, right? Yes. That's the wrong answer. The right answer is A, free goods. Your question now. Number two. Number two. Question number two. The average of a series of figures or value is referred to as the dash. A, total. B, mean. C, frequency. B, mean. The mean is the right answer. Put your hands together for him. You may take that step. Go ahead. Good one. And your final question for economics. Number five. Number five. A dash is any good that satisfies consumers' wants. A, capital good. B, consumer good. C, merits good. B, consumer goods. Consumer goods is the right answer. Put your hands together for him. Go ahead, take the step. Congratulations to you. We now move on to vocation. Why don't you take a step? And we're looking at beekeeping. Beekeeping. Bees. All right? So, pick a number. Number two. A location where bees are kept is called a bee is called a bee yard or what? A honey. B an apiary. C a beeswax. B an apiary. An apiary. Are you sure? Final answer. No, choose one. B or C? C. C. C is beeswax. Why, why C? You were not calm. So now you're coming down. Okay. All right. Maybe you shouldn't be coming down. Because apiary was the right answer. 
beeswax was the wrong answer. So unfortunately, you have to stay where you are for now. So a location where bees are kept is called a bee yard or an apiary. And that was, that is B. Your question now. Number five. Number five. Well, really, you should be coming now. <laughs> Number five. The Center for Bee Research and Development, CBRAD, is located in where? In Nigeria. Is it A, Ibadan, B, Jos, or C, Lagos? A, Ibadan. Ibadan is the right answer. Put your hands together for him. Take the step. Your question now. Number one. Number one. Another name for beekeeping is A, aquaculture, B, apiculture, C, honeybee. B, apiculture. Apiculture is the right answer. Congratulations to you. Take that step. Put your hands together for him, please. All right, great. Your question. Number three. Number three. All colonies are totally dependent on their dash. A, worker. B, drone. C, queen. C, queen. Final answer before the bell goes. Is Queen your final answer? Yes, sir. You're sure? Yes, sir. Or you don't have a choice? Which one? C. Queen. You're sure? Yes, sir. Or because you don't have a choice? Because you're sure? Yes, sir. Because you don't have a choice? <laughs> All right, Queen is the right answer. Put your hands together for him. Go ahead. Take that step. Congratulations to you. And um, let's move away from vocation now. Let's go on to profession. And we're looking at the profession of a microbiologist. Pick a number. Number one. Number one. A microbiologist is a scientist who studies microscopic life forms and dash A, processes. B, animals. C, unites. A. A, processes, right answer. Put your hands together for him. Take the step. Congratulations to you. Your question now. Number three. Number three. Bacteria can be used for the industrial production of dash. A, gas. B, tissue. And C, amino acids. C, amino acids. Amino acids is the right answer. Congratulations to you. All right, he's taking the step. Your question now. Number two. Number two, and it is your final question for today. Take a step, today's edition. Number two, a microbiologist performs tests on water, food, and the environment to detect harmful what? A, plants. B, microorganisms. C, acids. B, microorganisms. Microorganisms, right answer. <laughs> Go ahead, take the step. Your final question. Number five. Number five. Well, this is a giveaway question because uh, you're already a step ahead, and um, if you don't get it, you're still a step ahead. But I, good luck, yeah? Number five, incubator is an instrument used for dash. A, viral culture. B, bacterial or fungal culture. C, analysis. B. B, bacterial or fungal culture. 
Are you sure? Yes, sir. Very sure? Yes, sir. How sure are you? Tell me. I'm 99% sure. 99% sure. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, so you can take that 100% step because you are right. Take the step. Congratulations to you. Please put your hands together for them one more time. Let's meet in front. We'll take a very quick break when we come back. Our contestants will be presented with their gift items. Take a step, makes a return. Why don't you take a step? Welcome back, welcome back. It's been a fun one between Adibi Abdus Salam and Amechi Joshua. And at the end of the day, we've seen Amechi Joshua taking the most steps on the show, emerging winner on the show. Please put your hands together for him. And also put your hands together for Adibi Abdus Salam. Are you? All right, good. That's what I wanted to see, the smile on your face. It's okay, all right? But read more, all right? Read as much as you can. Every reasonable material that you can lay your hands on. All right, this is coming to you, Katsi, NTA Educational TV. You. You're welcome. And this goes to our winner, Amechi Joshua. Put your hands together for him one more time. Cutsy NTA Educational TV. Now, if you missed out any part of the show, just go over to our YouTube channel. It is at NTA ETV and catch up on everything so you will not miss anything. My name is Moses Humphrey, and I leave you with this um, unanimous quote. The greatest enemy of knowledge is not ignorance. It is the illusion of knowledge. Till I come your way next time. Take care, read wide, bye for now. <laughs>